Hi, this is Tom Angotti speaking to you from New York City uh, with greetings, saludos to uh, friends and comrades in Rio de Janeiro who are organizing uh, community land trusts. I am the chair of the board of the Cooper Square Community Land Trust in New York City, the oldest land trust and uh, one of the largest and most important in New York City that we are continue to work to improve and to save from the forces of speculation and displacement. Uh, Cooper Square started in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, uh, which was a one of the historic working class neighborhoods in New York City, uh, in the 1960s, as um, renters were being forced out by developers and speculators, and uh, fought back, and um, won the fight to stay. Uh, in buildings that were basically abandoned by private landlords and wound up in uh, under uh, management by the city of New York. Uh, this immigrant neighborhood, largely Puerto Rican um, uh, people who fought back, won control of the buildings uh, from the city of New York and uh, fought back a major plan that would have wiped them out and created upper income housing. So uh, they want, uh, developed their own plan for the, uh, for the housing. And uh, in 1993, the city of New York transferred the housing to a mutual housing association uh, run by the residents. Uh, and the land at the same time was transferred to the land trust. And this served as a way to guarantee that the land could not be used for anything except providing affordable housing to low-income households, the original uh, uh, tenants, in those buildings. And it's gone on for over 30 years now, but la lucha continua. It is a constant battle as the neighborhood is being pressured by speculators um, who uh, are displacing more and more low-income people of color, um, black and Puerto Rican and Latinx uh, uh, people. So la lucha continua. Please come and visit us again. We had a delegation from Rio several years ago. And as the city begins to open up after COVID, we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.